Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. Um, if you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit the little bell so that it, you get notified when we do future videos. Now, what I wanted to talk about in today's video is I want to do a test of a baby monitor, a wired baby monitor system that's being promoted on the internet as low EMF and safe. Um, the reason that they're promoting it as, as safe is because um, the internet comes, this is the camera, this is a D-Link camera, and you can see that it has an antenna here, it can operate with Bluetooth, but there's also a port at the back here for an ethernet cable, and as soon as you pl plug a live ethernet cable in the back, this system automatically turns off the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and because it's getting internet through the ethernet. Now, um, so that is great because it shuts off the, uh, it shuts off the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the RF radiation. The way the rest of the system works is you have these internet ports. One of them is plugged in near the Wi-Fi router and you, you take an ethernet cable and you plug it into the you know, you, you plug this into the AC outlet, you plug an Ethernet cable in here, and you plug this one into your router. And what this does is it picks up, uh, it picks up the Internet from the Wi-Fi router, or it doesn't have to be a Wi-Fi router, from the router, and it sends it um, on the normal electrical wiring in your home. The normal electrical wiring is designed to carry, you know, 60 hertz of AC electricity. Um, but you can send other signals over it as well and that's what this does is it sends much higher frequency internet signal um, over that over that uh, normal electrical wiring and then near the baby monitor you plug another one of these I'll show you what it looks like here you plug another one of those into the outlet near the baby monitor and then you run an ethernet cable from it and then you and you also plug it in the other end into the the back of the baby monitor and they, they have an app that you can download on your your computer your your phone and uh, or your tablet or something and we'll show you that in a minute and it's really cool you can anytime you want to you can uh, you know you can check on your baby and see how everything's going so when I first saw this I first ran into this uh, this system designed this way a few years ago and when I first saw it I was so excited because it would cut off the RF radiation I was ecstatic but as I started researching in it and as I learned how the system operates when you send internet signal over the over the uh, normal electrical wiring you're sending much higher frequency than the normal 60 Hertz signal that AC signal that uh, or current electricity that normally runs over those wires and uh, it's dirty electricity that's what it is so I was kind of bummed about it so I've, I've never promoted it on my on my website or anything I've just looked for other alternatives um, but it's starting to get promoted a lot and so I thought I would I would do a test uh, and show you guys you can see for yourself whether it works or whether it doesn't okay here we are by my Wi-Fi router and I apologize the lighting isn't the greatest in here but if you look here sorry for all my wound up cords but here's my Wi-Fi router in a in a Wi-Fi router guard there so you can see that there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these internet ports and we're gonna plug it into this outlet right there and then we're gonna I'm gonna plug it into this uh, Wi-Fi router. I want to show you this here. See, here's my uh, Netgear uh, 5 gigahertz router. This white uh, thin Ethernet cable there. You can see that. That's the one that I plugged in. And that is this here. And we're going to plug the other end of it up here. Okay, there you can see I've got that plugged in right there. So that's all we need to do here for a minute. Okay, we're back downstairs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera here and we're going to plug in the Ethernet cable into the back of the, the camera like that. 
And then I'm gonna bring you around and I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna plug that into an outlet. Okay, here we are down here and we're gonna take this other end here and we're gonna plug it into this outlet right here, this kitchen outlet there. Okay, here we are again, I'm over here by our camera. I've got it, I've got it uh, plugged into power as well. And I've logged in, on, I've, there's an app that they have, and I've, I've installed that on my tablet. And as you can see, uh, let's turn the camera where it can see me. So you can see I'm on the, on the camera there. And so uh, the, system's, the system's working. So I've got the volume turned down, so because we're being this close to it, we get a little bit of feedback. All right, so let's do the test. Okay, so this is the meter uh, that we're gonna do the test with. This is a Graham Stetzer meter. Those of you that have watched my other videos have probably seen this before. Super simple meter to use. Just plug it into a circuit in your house and read the number that it displays there. If the number is above 50, then you've got too much dirty electricity. You've got unsafe levels of dirty electricity on that particular circuit. If it's below 50, then uh, you're good. And uh, the generally accepted rule is you don't need to, to do anything on it. First, we're gonna test the uh, circuit without uh, anything in it uh, so that you can see how it reads normally. And then we'll, we'll replug back in the camera and everything with the system working and test it that way. Okay, so here we are back at this outlet in the kitchen. And so I've got my Gram Stetzer meter here. I'm gonna plug in the Gram Stetzer meter so you can see what it's reading. And it's reading about like it normally does, 66 to 69. If I take the uh, Gram Stetzer filter and I plug it in, then it goes down to 23, 24. You can see that without the glare. Um, and you can plug these filters into any into any circuit. See, I unplugged it. Now it's back up to 70, 68, like that. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So, but I've got another circuit over here that's uh, in the, or another outlet, I should say, that's in the same circuit. Um, if I plug it in here, and then we go back over here, you'll see it's back down to the to the low, you know, 24, 23 kind of a thing. So that's how that works. Now let's take that out. Let's plug this back in. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, I've got the camera, got the green flashing light on there and we've got the, it's, it's all functioning again. So now let's go test it. Okay, so we've got the system all up and running now. So we'll plug this in with the system running and we'll see what it reads. 1700, 06, 1649, 1551, 1482, 1633. So it's bouncing around between 1400 and 1700. That is actually the highest reading I personally have ever taken in any house. So that's pretty, that's pretty dang high. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this here. We're gonna walk over with our, our filter and let's see if the filter will take, get rid of that and bring it down to the safe level. So we're come back over here and into this outlet here, which is on the same circuit. We'll plug that in again like we did. And then let's see how that affected it. 1543. 1600 it really had basically zero effect on it it's still in the 15 16 almost 1700 range so not very impressed so let's uh let's go upstairs and test the circuit up there okay here we are back upstairs by the wi-fi router and we've got our d-link internet port plugged in there and here is the Graham Stetzer uh, meter. We're gonna plug that in there. And let's see what the reading is. 1708, 1676, 
1592, 1633. Let you guys watch that for a second as it's spinning around there. Hopefully you can see that without a glare. So way, way high, cancer level high. Okay, so now let's test this and stick it in the, uh, let's put the gram stetcher filter and see if it affects anything up here. Okay, so if we stick a gram stetcher filter there, and let's go back over here to our, our take our, our gram stetcher meter, and let's, uh, still reading the same. 1563, 1579, 1649, 1498, exactly the same. Bouncing around in that same range that it was. So let's talk about this. I'll go back downstairs. Okay, just to kind of wrap things up, um, that reading that we just took, where it bounced around between 1400 to 1700, uh, that's the highest dirty electricity reading I've ever taken on a home. I, I've taken one other one where there was a room that it was around 14 to 1500, but I've never seen them bounce as high as 1700 before. Um, in some of my research, I've read, a, I've read of, uh, of, of people getting higher readings than that. But personally for me, that's the highest that I've ever found. Um, and the one thing that I want to make sure that you understand about the system is the camera is not the problem. As soon as you have an Ethernet cable and you plug it into the back of it that's live with Internet, the RF radiation is shut off. The Wi-Fi is shut off. So this is a safe, this part of the system is safe. Um, you just want to keep it a ways away from your baby. You don't want it right next to the baby. But it's this part of the system, these Internet ports, um, that are the problem. These are what's putting the dirty electricity into the line. So if your house is hardwired with Ethernet uh, computer cables in the walls um, and all you have to do is take this camera, you know, plug an Ethernet cable in there and, and then take the other side of the Ethernet cable and plug it into the wall, that would be a really, really safe uh, system. That would be great. I, I would be all for that. Um, it's these things that you want to avoid, these Internet ports. This is what people are promoting that are causing, that's what caused the dirty electricity. So um, just to kind of recap, dirty electricity is when you have your normal electrical wiring in the house, it's used to having AC electricity at about 60 hertz frequency running along the lines. Um, anytime you plug a device into an electrical outlet, that tries to manipulate that normal AC current. Like for example, a device that would convert um, the AC electricity into DC. Um, what that causes is it causes high frequency spikes and surges that run along that line. And those high frequency spikes and surges are of a high enough frequency that number one, they're toxic and number two, they're airborne. They radiate through the wall into the, into the room. If you think about what this does, the internet signal that comes out of the router um, is a lot higher frequency uh, than 40 hertz. It's a lot higher, or 60 hertz, I mean. It's a lot higher frequency, that this, the frequency that these things inject into the lines there. It's dirty electricity, that's all it is. So these things do nothing but throw dirty electricity on the line, and it's a high enough frequency that it's airborne and it's toxic and it radiates through the walls. So with that, I thank you for watching this video and uh, appreciate it. And we'll call that a wrap and we'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much.